Hey guys, happy new year. I hope you had an amazing time last night and hopefully it wasn't too uh, inebriating or uh, you got up this morning without having a massive hangover. And uh, I hope 2015 is gonna be, I know 2015 is gonna be amazing. I mean, if you're following my videos and you're following my advice, it can only get better, right? So uh, stick with me. Thank you for, for being with me for, for, I don't know, a couple videos or for several years. And uh, I look forward to, to helping you further in 2015. Now, this is the time of year when a lot of people start thinking about losing weights. Maybe they're start, starting to think about cleansing. And I think that's for good reason because the reality is that, you know, here's some, some crazy stuff. So statistics or the research, I should say, has shown that when we look at the weight gain that occurs over the period of 12 months, 52% of that occurs in six weeks between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Isn't that crazy? So this has been, uh, this is, this has been well researched now and this makes sense. If you think about it, Thanksgiving, big meal, Christmas party, Christmas party, Christmas party, Christmas dinner, New Year's Eve. Right, so I mean, when even if that's just, let's just call that two pounds, but what happens over a decade? Two pounds times 10 years, that's 20 pounds. So when we look at, wow, where did all this weight come from? It may not have come all at once, but it's small increments over time. Just for instance, just through the holidays, if we didn't really take care of that on the back end. So that's a big reason why a lot of people, I, I believe, uh, are really gung-ho in January to, to, to kind of like, <laughs> get on the healthy path and kind of lose weight and feel good again. And, uh, and that's a good thing. The second thing is that uh, there's a lot of research now that's conclusively showing that environmental toxins, and this could be come from, could be coming from the air, the water, the foods that you eat, indoor air pollution, uh, stuff you put on your skin, clothing, skincare, uh, plastics, all this kind of stuff, anything around you, it's been conclusively shown now to actually cause fats and cause diabetes. So it's not even a question of correlation anymore, it's a cause and effect scenario. And this was actually documented in, in the one of the most prestigious journals, uh, which is called Lancet. And this is like the creme de la creme of journals and that's kind of where we're at. So here's the problem with toxins. I wanna give you a quick little rundown of how things happen in the body. When you take toxins in, toxins, again, there are hundreds of thousands of different types of toxins. We're surrounded by them all the time. The problem is that, again, the research has shown for, for, many, for many years, you know, people talked about toxins being problematic and there wasn't really substantial correlation or cause and effect or understanding of how things work, but now there is. In the past 10 years, there's been a lot of research to show conclusively what's happening. So here's one thing that happens. A lot of these toxins, they actually impact the gene signaling inside your cells. And what that means is that, um, for instance, cancer grows as a result of um, kind of messed up reproduction of a cell. So if a cell, a cell has a program to reproduce itself, right? So then it reproduces itself. But if something happens at the genetic level, to change the program or the output, then that cell becomes a different type of cell. So it's like, that's why x-rays are not great for us because the x-ray can bombard our genetic code and change something which can lead to who knows what, right? So that's how kind of cancer can pro pro prolifer proliferate and get out of control. It's simply a kind of an out of control duplication of a faulty cell. So that genetic, our genes are massively important. They're like the vault of the bank. Like we don't wanna let anything get in there, but these toxins are getting in there and they are changing the signaling within our genes. And what's happening specifically with some of these toxins is that they're actually telling our cells to create new fat cells. And it's not just about expanding existing fat cells, it's about creating new ones. This is very scary. Because if you consider why, you know, why is it that so many people, why is it that two thirds of North America is overweight? You know, you'd think that the continent would be sinking based on that, right? What about like if about one third of those people are obese? Right? It's crazy. So what's happening? A lot of this stuff is, again, out of our control. I'm not saying this is your fault. This is just the world we live in. But with this information, then you have the responsibility to make certain changes. So toxins are really stimulating our body to create new fat cells. And these, these fat cells are then damaged, which is weird. They're damaged by the inflammation caused 
by the toxins. So they're not actually working properly, which means that our, our cells, our brain doesn't respond to their communication properly. So they're not working properly and that's they're just kind of growing out of control. And the other thing is that these toxins can also disrupt thyroid function. And it's been shown to, uh, again, uh, this whole kind of thyroid axis from the brain all the way down to the thyroid, and then at the cellular level, how the cells respond to thyroid hormone uh, is completely impaired by toxicity. So when we just, uh, again, I'm just gonna stop there because if we just look at new fat cell generation and the fact that our thyroid gland is impaired due to environmental toxicity, and we know that toxins are one of the greatest causes of Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, which is type, uh, sorry, which is an autoimmune low thyroid uh, disease, right? And we know that toxicity is one of the biggest culprits of that. So when we look at thyroid and fat cells, thyroid is our master metabolism gland. It regulates our metabolism. So if your thyroid is sluggish, then you simply are not burning as many calories. It's kind of dimming the flame and you're not as metabolically active. So you're gonna have a tougher time losing weight. Then you have all these new fat cells and expanding fat cells because the more toxins you have in your body, where do they go? Your body is very smart. So not only does it create new fat cells, but it says, hey, we have to store this toxicity somewhere and it stores it in your fat. So unless you get rid of the toxicity, you can't get rid of the fat because the fat is like a storage locker that's required to hold on to those dangerous toxins. So that's just the kind of tip of the iceberg. Then there's stuff happening with our gut an imbalance of gut bacteria and how bad bacteria are giving off something called lipopolysaccharides or LPS, which further has been shown to increase new fat cells and impair communication with our brain. It's crazy. So why am I mentioning this stuff? Well, I'm here to not only not, not, not really scare you, but just to remind you of the importance of cleaning up your diet, of cleaning up your environment. And there are some simple things you can do. First of all, um, let's just look at skincare because skincare is a massively uh, common thing that people put on and use on a daily basis. Don't try to avoid putting things on your skin in general. I mean, if you don't have to wear makeup or moisturizer or anything, just don't put it on. Because if you're, unless you are able to eat that stuff, then you probably shouldn't put on your skin because your skin is a very big semi-permeable membrane. So it's gonna allow a lot of that stuff into your body and right into your bloodstream, not good. So another thing you can do is within your household is just use normal, natural, I shouldn't say normal, but um, all natural cleaners. Don't use toxic uh, stuff that's produced by these big Procter & Gamble companies because they're loaded with toxins. Simple rule of thumb, if it's produced by a company you see on TV, it's probably loaded with junk. Okay, chemicals and all sorts of other stuff, Febreze, all that nonsense, burn that, okay? Set up a bonfire, burn it all. What you can do instead at home is you can use a combination of vinegar, you can use some uh, eucalyptus oil, right? And um, some baking soda. That's a really simple wash that you can use for your floors, for your countertops. You don't need to use all the other nonsense. Instead of using Febreze, well, you can use uh, some natural essential oils and just kind of, you can, uh, there's uh, diffuser dishes, I don't even know if that's the name, but you can use those to, you know, get off a nice aroma in the house. You don't have to use chemicals that are produced by these companies that want us to believe that their stuff is good because it's garbage, okay? Simple rule of thumb, these big companies are producing stuff, chemicals, foods that are killing us, okay? If it's advertised on TV, there is a lot of money behind it. And if there's a lot of money behind it, well, then the reason for that is because they've developed these products to sell. And in order for them to be profitable, they have to use compromising ingredients. So sure, they're gonna work at removing some stains, but at what cost? Same with dry cleaning or cleaning your carpets. You very, be very careful about this stuff. Off-gassing of furniture. These are all very big culprits of chemical induction into your body. Finally is food, right? You know, really um, looking at eating more organic foods, especially eliminating the dirty dozen. So if just, uh, just to make it very simple, if you're eating the whole food, so the peel and everything, like an apple, do your best to get that organically. If you're having an avocado where you're not gonna eat the peel, then that's not as big a deal to get organically. But if you're eating lettuce, berries, things where the whole food is being consumed, do your best to get those organic because pesticides are coming in our foods and they're one of the biggest sources of toxins into our body. When it comes to meat and animal products, choose grass-fed, free-run, organic, all that stuff you've probably heard of before. 
because commercially raised stuff, not good. They're pumping it with antibiotics and hormones. They're feeding corn and soy to these animals when they should really be eating grass. So just some, I mean, these are small things that, again, don't, ha don't have an effect tomorrow, but when you've been doing them for years and years and years, they build up. They build up inside your body and they cause serious, serious biological damage. Um, processed foods, anything that comes in a box or package, again, it's coming from a big company, pretty much avoid it. So yeah, there we go. I mean, I hope this video has kind of you know, prompted you and kind of like got you sitting up tall and like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta change something here. Um, so anyways, I hope these tidbits of information have helped you out. And if you want to go a little bit deeper and use a program that actually helps you go through this much more kind of hand-holding in a hand-holding fashion, uh, then you can check out our Total Wellness, Total Wellness Cleanse. And uh, I don't know if you've, if you've followed me for any amount of time, every year we do a big kind of celebration for the new year and we uh, usually do something special with our cleanse. And we're doing that this year right now uh, between January 1st and January 3rd, we're actually giving a discount we have never done before in the history of the program, and we're not too sure if we'll do it again, but even if we do, why wait for another year, right? So you can check it out. We've made it much more accessible to everybody. Uh, the link below the video will take you there or the link on the video somewhere. And um, you know, if you think it's a good fit for you, uh, I know it's going to make a huge difference in your life. We've helped over 21,679 men and women with this program so far. And it's a beautiful food-based program. There's no supplements or powders. It's food-based. So uh, check it out if you want. And um, I hope you have an amazing start to 2015. And look forward to more amazing videos coming your way. Talk to you soon.